Hey folks, this is Nova Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. I see we're we're planting like crazy out here. This is the next day after last episode. I ran it through the night, and it was raining when we turned it off. It stopped raining in the middle. Let's see, I was going to watch Sangria. Yeah, she's she's trying to bribe this squirrel with uh, with a uh, kibble, trying to convince it to uh, to to be trained. But but um, in the middle of the night, it switched over to from rain to a dry thunderstorm. But Nothing really exciting happened, so I decided not to hit record. We we made it through with uh, only a couple of little lightning strikes, and it started to rain again, so it all went out. So, not all that thrilling. But, what is thrilling is that we are madly trying to get all of these traps done. Bliss, you, you figure out how to get out of there before you build yourself in. You got that? Careful. <laughs> Steel traps are are uh, a bit nasty when they, when they go off on you, so we got to really be careful how they're doing this job but I've got the yeah I just saw the dog dive through there it made me question my sense of reality but no there's there's no trap right there it's there and there I've got the the home zone and the dog zone and the pig zone all set so that they're not traveling through this anymore all the repairs have been made but before they're going to get around to working on all the rest of these, they have the, they they're obligated to take roofs down. That's just the joy of their life. So they're they're all out there doing just that right now. But Handy, I saw you drop off something. You're hauling. Okay, you're hauling more steel. You're you're content there, Kaya. You got to go remove a roof. Um, can you work on that one? Others can remove the roofs. Handy's going to work on the one. Who else is down here, Eric? You are still working on one. Great. So all my constructors, except for Radar, and... Well, Bliss was out there. Radar is working on stone blocks, and we need them desperately. We really do. Our supplies, there's, there's nothing here. Everything that they make is being uh, hauled off to higher priority storage over in here, and it's, it's not even maxed out. And then there's also some storage down in here. It looks like that's full of miscellaneous stuff. That's where the sandstone and, and whatnot are, are being held. But roofs coming off of the of the uh, the gardens, the, the greenhouses, so they can grow through the uh, through the summertime. Um, all of our power is turned off out there, so nothing will short. And power is starting to refresh in here. We managed to get this one done after I came up with the the bright idea of of, of just turning off the the animal's ability to walk through that square. So once I solved that one, we were able to finish. Tomasov's no longer inspired for a shoot frenzy. When did that happen? Two or three episodes? That happened before the battle. Yeah, that, that four episodes of, of basically one full day. So that, that feels like a very long time ago. That was probably a 24-hour thing, and it would just finally hit 24 hours afterward. But you guys are all doing this. Um, I need to get us ready to go out and do the the uh, the journey to the next tile over and get a bunch of components so there is that to do but kind of want to finish off all the rest of these traps and just other miscellaneous things so we're at noon maybe bright and early tomorrow morning big lovin will get to work on getting a caravan set up to go assuming that nothing crazy drops in on us anytime soon I wonder how long we really have before the next raid. There'll always be that that wonder. You know, will it? Will the game stack two of them on us, one after the other, or will it give us a true break in between? Unfortunately, no way of knowing. Well, speaking of knowing, I know we're gonna have a lot of cotton soon. Wow, we're just loaded through here. There's potatoes down there, more cotton up here. Cotton. Oh, that's rice over there. Rice, yeah. But um breakdown cooler fairly nah, not super well okay yeah I guess it is more critical than during the winter time let's put it that way we don't need a second one up and running but we'd be nice to get this one up and going let's swap them out we'll do that and George as soon as you're done come over here and Cyprian's got it Cyprian where are you uh, you're normally down you're right over there Bill yeah, well, let's like re undo it. Cyprian, you need food? Yeah, when you're done, why don't you grab a meal? Let me make this, this trip worth it. Okay, well, that'll keep that going. And we'll, 
I'll swap them out. Someone else can repair it later. But they're all busy removing roofs. And oh, never mind. And he's on the job. <laughs> all the roofs are down. I guess they are. Because they would not have done it. Yeah, this is no more shadows in there. Okay, then let's get somebody else working on traps. Um, anybody up in this area? Rabbit. Everybody up here is supposed to be up here for growing. Okay, so the rest have moved down into the base to do other things. I'm not seeing a Klaus. I'm not seeing an Eric. Uh, radar's over here. Bliss, where are you at? Bliss is cutting stone blocks. So you went and grabbed a meal, and you're going to go off and cut stone blocks. Okay, so David is in bed, and he's three quarters away there. Eric, you are building a wooden shelf. Okay, so you're starting to get more of this work done. Klaus is in there too. Um, I did go through and try to work on some more of these we were getting all the dead men clothes brought down over here unfortunately we can't use it except for for Alicia who has no problem with it I did come up with one way to try to get rid of some of that by saying I want only 70 to 100 percent hit points brought down here most of the dead man stuff's been shot up pretty good <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a massacre. But their stuff's pretty ruined, which is one way that I have to try to filter it all back out of here again. So the pigs have been slowly taking the bad stuff out of here, using that tool and dumping it off in here. So little by little it's starting to happen. And I did get, is that one manufactured? Yeah, that's back into textiles. So I did go through and, and clean up some of the, uh, uh, the storage in here. So we're Little by little, things are starting to go where they're supposed to go. But I need, first of all, what's being built in here. Right there. You finished. Which one did you just finish? You're standing here. Anyway, Klaus, you building marble needs. Your food is fine for a little while. Well, let's make it fine for a long while. Come over here and grab a meal. And then let's go build a couple of traps. So pop over here and grab a meal. And then you can take on that one. And move on over to this one. Eric, you don't need a meal. You pop right into that one. And then take on this one. And then, Handy, you are working on that. And you're okay food-wise. When you're done with that, come on over. Let's see. Into here. Now, you can work on that one and that one. So it leaves one. Trap only. Kaya, what you doing? You are building marble tile. Don't need food. You're down here already. Mmm, maybe nice to see this done. Maybe I'll leave you as the only one to do that job. Let's go bug Vliss. You're going up there to cut blocks. And Radar is already up here. Let's leave Radar. Vliss, on your way, let's, let's distract you and send you into this last steel trap. Right here. And I think that is it. Handy, Handy, Eric, Eric, Klaus, and Klaus. Done, done, done. Okay, that should finish off that job. All right, so next important. Hmm. Probably nothing else is truly critical. I've been adding more storage, just kind of getting them laid out, filling in some holes here and there, and just miscellaneous stuff through some some uh, kind of random places to go off and explore mining here and there. I did get uh, Miss P up here for a little while, worked on that for me. Um, what else? I guess I was hearing wind. I thought I just heard someone do some shooting. But now I think that was when the rain, I'm glad when the rain goes away. The constant hissing in the background. I think it's more so on, for me than I've noticed in the videos you guys are watching. Seems like the, the sounds are muted a little bit there. But uh, for me, this is just a constant just kind of eating away at me in the background. <laughs> um, power down here. Good enough. Good enough to shut this down? You know, I kind of think so. Eric, you're busy. Who's around here? Radar, you... Let's get you finished with that one, then have you walk over and do this one. 
Thomas I was about to. Where was he coming from? Don't know, but now he's free to go back to whatever he was doing. He's probably sewing. If he's not researching, he's probably sewing. So Radar, you'll take care of that. Save this bank. It's fully charged. Just put all the charge into this now, which should be enough since we're not running this anymore. So we should be able to maintain power on all of our battery banks now. Enough so that it wouldn't hurt to get these guys up and built. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Though I don't need to do it anytime soon, but let's just get the, the blueprints in there. And I'd rather get... Uh, actually, these don't need to be anytime soon now either. We can handle it. This right here is enough to store up enough to get us through the night now. With occasional help from these guys, and there's always these six. In fact, I'd say we're basically there. All the heaters are off now. Yeah. Hmm. Just wonder if I want to shut down any of these. Like the wood ones. Let's do that and that. Oops. That one. In fact, let's not do that one. He's right next to the wood. If we're going to leave one running, let's let it be the one that's closest trip to refuel. Let's, let's take down two and see how this works. I know we've added a few more light bulbs. There's also light bulbs we're not using anymore, so we'll see how this all balances out. David, you're up and you're working on these. Are our, our traps all done now? Wood got missed. Good through there. This one, Klaus was going to work on, I think. He may have, someone may have, no, nobody walked through it. Oh, he's, he's bringing the last of the supplies. He's fine. Faith, you're having a little trouble because... Hmm. Flicking a switch. Ah, you got those. Rabbit's got the other one. Otherwise, you're ready to rest soon. And you could use a little joy. But you want to go sewing. And you like sewing, right? Let's grab your character. Growing. Yeah, you get a plus. There's a lot of wind. We got another thunderstorm coming in. Spring thunderstorms. Yeah, it's... It's... Beginning tornado season, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we've been really lucky with those two tornadoes. They didn't destroy us. But I shouldn't have to worry too much about fire. How about the rain going? If anything, I just need to distract them so the rain can't put it out. Um, I did queue up a bunch of granite to be hauled in here and there. Because we are really getting low on granite blocks. Where am I? Right over here, and just, I need the pigs to start hauling it in. We have a lot of limestone that got hauled in. More so than we really need. In fact, let's shut that down so we don't haul any more this direction. Chunks right there. Let's turn off the limestone and just do marble and granite, which we need the most of. I we don't have any limestone storage in here, do we? You are what? Resources. Your stone blocks. Let's set you up as... Oh, I see. I've got you set up for all. So it'll randomly take any of them. Okay, that works fine. That we can do. Otherwise, Klaus got it done. Um, just verify a few things here. Home zone. All the traps are out of the home zone. Everything looks safe there. You guys, let me know if you see something I don't. Uh, pop into dog zone. Everything looks fine in a wild boar zone. Ah, there's a difference right there. Wild boar. This is this one. Wild boar. I need this to go away. Wow. We went boom. We did. Um, so the wild boar zone is safe now. Yeah, we almost had ribs right there. That trap wasn't uh, wasn't protected. So no reason to get further into these. We got our stones all back into our stockpiles. And... I'll, let's, I'll let them come in and fight these fires. Are, is this... Yeah, it's home zone. Whoa, Unk. Oh, careful there. You're leaping through fire. Chick 18 is burned to death. There was a chicken there. No. Hmm. Wow. Unk, oh, let's choose another door. So who's running this direction? Sangria is. You put out the fire. Get somebody else to make a repair to all those conduits. But, wow. Chick 18... <laughs> Speaking of chicks. Oh, they popped. There were eight here a minute ago. Oh man. Dare I look? Animals, chickens. Oh it was one of the one of the baby ones that just popped. 
It didn't have any any life skills in it yet. It didn't know the lightning was bad. Went out there to catch it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, you guys, you, Sangria, no. All right, you're all done. You're done. Chickens are all kibble zone. What was that one over here somewhere? Got another one. None. All right, that column looks good. Everything here looks right. Uh, all kinds of little baby pigs running all around. Uh, Mohawk is pregnant. Ah, we've got almost have squirrel one to be put under faith. Uh, hauling from that point up. Everything looks right. Yeah, kibble zone stops right there. All right, so that's all good. So, one in the morning. Hopefully everybody went to bed. Fire is over here. Let's turn that off. Let the rain take care of it. And any other fires out here? Everything's looking fine. And David, you are going to build a steel improvised turret somewhere. Anything I need a David to be doing through the night. David and Gnarly. Um, let's get you guys working in here. Let's get these guys built. Grab some wood and let's go and, and put this together. Get more cloth into storage in there. And I do realize that they can walk through these things. Maybe in this one case... I'm going to go ahead and add one more right there just to give us a little more. I like the idea of keeping a gap, keeping an aisle, but we could do just that. Yeah, just a little bit more storage in here. And these settings are working really good. So let's copy, paste, paste. And while I'm here, paste. J, there we go, J. So we're just going to get and pause. You guys are doing what? You're building a steel improvised turret. Okay, why don't you work on here? And David, you work into this corner here. And I want to say this was one of these two I didn't get to. Alright, those are real now. Okay, so we'll get the guns hauled out of there. Any more guns popping in over here? Pause. Fire is in this area. Let's say no to that. There's plenty of rain. Put that out just fine. Mr. P, what'd you find in there? Ooh, cool. We found steel in there too. I never saw the pop up. Um, you, I want what? Mining. Let's give you there, there. Doesn't look like there's any more in that area. We'll do that and that. Nope, that one wasn't. So cancel you. And you are just marble. Cancel you. So it must be all going north. Okay. Sea Stars is helping out. Great. We can certainly use that steel. You are. Boy. And he's trying really hard to nail us. Let's kill the home zone in here. And let the rain put that out. I can put it back in here again. That's done. It's not distracting anybody unnecessarily, or they'll all wander out this direction just as all the fire goes out on its own. And it wasn't necessary. But you're done. You're done. <laughs> like watching water boil. I will right, come back to that later. Um, and speaking of watching water boil, I want to make sure you guys do the job here, Kaya. You are building a turret. Oh, these turrets are alive. Got to get them turned off. Kaya, why don't you work on... Arlie and David have got this handled. Okay, then you work on this one. Right there. Go we'll grab some, some wood and, and... Wood's all gone. Wood's up here now. Okay. So the animals need to do some more wood hauling. But I need this switch turned off. Ooh. This is what powers this. It is. This... this circuit here is what gets keeps our doors working. Do I want to leave these on? Not really, but I want these doors to work. Alright, we'll put a switch in there and we'll run conduit, I guess, over the top. And actually, it can go all the way up into there. 
Alright, we'll just expose it here. Rather than tear the wall out and rebuild it, we'll just do that. Okay. And I guess I need to copy and paste some more. So, copy you, paste that one, and these. There. And did I get that one? Yep, we're hauling them away. Okay. Right, we'll see where that goes. Okay, so with that, pause. Six in the morning. I think it's time to make a decision. Of course, as soon as I do, a raid will come in. I think it's time to make a trip. Yep, I think so. I do it so seldom I have to teach myself how to do it all over again each time. So do we start the world map, or do we start somewhere else? Let's, first of all, uh, miscellaneous... Where is a caravan spot now? Oath Knight was suggesting we make a caravan spot here in our entrance. And somehow, did that take? It took. It's not showing. Oh, there it is, a little square. That we make a station somewhere in here just for setting up the caravan. There is a permanent roof over here. We could do something here. Kind of a stable kind of a thing. With a table to put supplies on. I don't know if I want the muffalo roaming in here and using our entrance as a stall, which is what they're going to do. They're they're pretty dirty animals. It's like bringing a cow into the living room. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go for right here for a, a caravan spot. But we'll, we'll think about redesigning this area later. But with that, click the caravan. Doesn't do any good. So let's go out to the world map and think about this. Generating planet. You know, I only just really recently realized there were city lights out here in the dark parts of the planet. It just kind of dawned on me. I don't know how, how recent that is. Probably since the, the world travel part came into it. But the original picture, I don't remember there being lights. It was more like an abandoned planet. Anyway, I want to... What? I click on a space. Let's go here. Planet, no. Terrain, no. Right click, no. Um, okay. Remind myself how to do it. We want to go from here to here. Okay. But that still doesn't help me figure it out. Oh, this is, it's, it's not intuitive. It's not obvious to me how it's done. So right click in there, no. Uh, double click on it. Terrain, planet. How do you set up a caravan? Animal starvation. Well, I guess we're going back. <laughs> Animal starvation, where? Mohawk. Mohawk, what, what, what gives? Food. I can't tell you to stop. Needs. Health. Pregnant. Malnutrition is not good for pregnant. You need to get food. You're dropping off. I'm guessing there's so few pieces of, you know, places to eat that others have had them claimed when Mohawk needed to go get food. And so waited for one to be unclaimed. That might be something. Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this again. How do I set up a caravan? Like I said, it just does not feel that intuitive. It's not obvious. What am I not getting? Right click on, ah, click on me for my caravan, not where I'm going. Okay, alrighty, that works. So, who goes with us? I haven't actually taken the time to think about that. I'm thinking that I want a doctor which, again, I'm going to be popping in and out here once in a while to think about things. So we've got the four here. I'm thinking I don't want a pig leg, so Natalia would be out. That leaves the four here. George or an Oath Knight, maybe, because Tomasov's done it before. So if George went or Oath Knight went. Oath Knight's been itching to do this, so let's send Oath Knight as a doctor. Otherwise, we need our miners. Our miners are all on different shifts. That's a problem. It's six in the morning, so our night people are about to crack on me. Hmm. How do we deal with that? 
So, night people, give me Miss P and needs. You're actually in pretty good shape. Your schedules are all messed up. So, Sea Stars is the one that's that's going to have a problem here. But Alicia is fine and Miss P is fine. Hmm. So, how do I deal with Sea Stars? I'm trying to remember. I can't force her to go to bed, can I? Because she'll crack and, and break on me. Can I right click and make her do anything? Hmm. Let's set her up in here with the possibility of having to cancel her if that's doable. But I would love to have my three main miners go. Who else do we have for miners? Let's go that route. Skills for mining. We've got the obvious three. Shantigo can mine. He's, he's a geologist at heart. Faith can mine. Rabbit can mine. Okay. And we've got a good shot there. We've got a good you know, shootist there. And there. And there. Okay. So that helps figure some things out. I need not necessarily construction. I need everybody who can mine as well as defend themselves. So I need a doctor. I need, we'll have food, so we don't need a cook for the sake of a cook. We need a doctor, we need miners, and we need some protection. I think that's our main goal there. So world, and right there, form a caravan. So, hmm, George is melee, whereas uh, Oath Knight is, is there another way to select these? Category, market value, not really. But Oath Knight can shoot. I'm not taking the minigun, though. I need Oath Knight to have something that can actually hit. So, all right. We're going to spend a lot of in and out of that world map as I'm figuring it out. I didn't stop to, to plan the whole thing, write it all down so I can just accomplish it all at once. So you'll get to, to watch the thought process as I go through this. Oath Knight, where are you at right now? You're good. You're, your sleep is good. So you're over here. You are researching. You are swapping out for a good assault rifle. And I'm not seeing... I'm seeing a pistol over here and frag grenades. So nobody's accidentally brought over an assault rifle to here. Over here we've got a... Those look like LMGs. They are. You, no, and you, no. So we're up in here. Assaults. They're supposed to be here. And that looks like it's all there is. So over here we have normal, poor, and normal. Alright, so we're going for a normal assault rifle. So Oath Knight, come on over and swap out for this one. And otherwise, going with us would be Sea Stars, possibly. You're right there. Uh, character, you have no shooting skill. So I can't just put a gun on you. Bill, I could. But he has no mining skill. Right there. He does have what? He's got a little bit of medicine. He's got crafting, melee, and growing. So none of those help us. So Bill stays here. But he's the, one, he's the only one of the melees that I can swap and interchange. So Oath Knight, that's you. Mississippi, you... I've got a revolver, which is better than the pistol, and it's a faster shot. I think I'm going to hang on to that. It isn't like the assault rifle, but you've got more flexibility than the assault rifle. You can't do as much damage as fast, but you can get in and out real quick. So I'm going to leave you there. You're, you're at a solid 8 on your shooting. Um, Alicia, you are now with an assault rifle. You're a 10 at shooting. Your assault rifle is a normal 100%. Okay, so that's you. Um, who else were we thinking of? Let's go back to work and mine. There we go. So Miss P, Alicia, Shantigo, he'll have an assault rifle. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any reason why I've swapped him out. Faith can mine 8 of 20. And she can also grow really well, which we need here. So maybe best to leave Faith behind. Rabbit's got some mining skills, and he's he's a good shot. So, and he is sitting right now with an assault. The other question was Shantigo. He's still with an assault. And um, Handy, Sniper. So we need to get Handy swapped out because she does have some mining skill. 
Okay, so that's starting to round things out. So Handy, you needs, you're needing a meal. Where are you at right now? You're in bed. All right, so let's get you, first of all, mealed up. And then let's get you with a assault rifle. And let's get that going. Once that's done, I can start setting them up. Because I don't know if I can really command them much after I assign them to the caravan. They kind of just become robots, caravan robots. They don't do anything anymore. So, um, Eric, why don't you work on getting me power to here and power to here. And let's get this pathway shut down so we can stop spending power on these turrets over here. And David, you're going to hang around. So once you do that one, let's get this switch built. And we'll get uh, we'll get this going. We'll get a lot of things to, to continue to do while the others are gone. But I need Oath Knight to have gotten his assault rifle. I need... I see Daniel's available too. I'm try also thinking of those who have never gone on a trip before. Daniel and Gnarly. Daniel, you can... Shoot. Grow. You've got some construction. Art. A little bit of mining. Gnarly, you got no mining. You got good shooting. You got good medicine as a backup doctor. There is that. Okay. Both knights there. Diamond, you got good shooting. You got good construction. You've got some mining too. How many do we take with us, and how many dare we take with us in case a raid hits here? I mean, Gnarly and, and Oath Knight, or Gnarly and Daniel would also be, uh, you know, great assets to have available here when things go south here at the base. Maybe we'll try to plan on two quick caravans before this series is out. We can get to a different group to go in each one. Kind of like that. There should be one day there, a couple days mining, and one day back. That kind of a thing. That should be doable in the next 20-25 episodes. Okay. So, um, so we're going to go with potentially Handy, potentially Rabbit, potentially Shantigo, who needs food. Shantigo right there, and you're eating. Let's let you get that meal in you. If we do Klaus, though, I'm thinking he stays behind. You're mining seven. Eh, you're iffy. Um, yeah, well, let Shantigo eat. He's done. So after that, we were looking at Oath Knight right there. So everyone, I want to make sure everyone's bar is, is done. Who else are we thinking of? Sea Stars, maybe. So it's the rest issue we got to work with on Sea Stars. And then, Mr. P, you're in decent shape to get going. And then you'll uh, you'll probably crack out, out there on the trail and, and go berserk for a while when all of your bars drop. Um, where are you at right now? I can at least force a meal into you. I could do that. You, mine, and Miss P, come down and get a meal, and then we'll start setting this all up. Just in case it doesn't want me to let you have a meal once I assign you. But I think you're the last one I need to worry about. Radar, you have no mining. You have a good shot. So we'll see about next time. Blitz, you are training a wild boar. Then let's make sure you go grab a real meal. You're out far away from the, the dining room. You might grab some rice or something to eat and be cranky the rest of the day. No, that was radar, wasn't it? Yeah. And you got cranky one time when I did make you eat a fine meal. You can only even get some berries instead. <laughs> uh, clear that and do that. That's right. You're ascetic. You don't like to... Uh, eat fine meals. Okay, so who was it I asked to go and eat that was still animal starvation? Mohawk, what is with you? Can you stop the hauling? Is there anything I can do? I mean, I have no control over these guys. Mohawk is in the dog area. You've got access to everything. What is your problem? I need to get a hauler hauling some, some more kibble around. Maybe, Grandma, if you can do... Haul some kibble, and George won't haul. Shantigo, you're going to be busy here in a minute. Um, I get some more kibble hauled out there. Maybe it'll make more piles available or something. It's really weird that Mohawk is refusing to eat. Why don't you 
haul some and Cyprian you do as well let's get some distributed out there into the animal areas and maybe that will help but again I'm looking for break risk of gnarly what's up gnarly health you are just kind of getting to the end of your day and let's get you doing something a little more fun does that exist anymore let's get you if I were to reset you taking a fine meal sure you go do that maybe you'll get into a happier place but I've been talking myself Miss Pete you're the one I'm looking for once you're done then we'll set this up by then it'll be 10 in the morning and gnarly playing horseshoes good can I tell you to watch TV perfect you'll, you'll be good now you'll be golden all right with all of this delay I'm, I'm stalling to see if a raid's coming in I hope it's not but who knows I never know but I want Miss P to get that meal and then we're gonna start the process sea stars you are watching television too okay that'll add a little bit to your health your, your mood bar before I select you uh, Miss P you're over here as soon as you grab that meal and eat it then we will set up the caravan and hopefully by the end of the day we'll have everything loaded now is there any advantage to being closer to the you know there is all of our of our pemmicans over here we're taking medicine which is over here we're taking meals we're, well that's the pemmican we're taking hay which may or may not be necessary but that's over here around the river let's move that caravan spot let's miscellaneous caravan miscellaneous now when I do this does it disappear from over here we'll see did that work there we go caravan I kind of think it needs to be a little closer to all of this you can all come out of here well oh, that's right we can turn this off now so if you're coming out of here let's caravan where is it too restrictive to be in here let's caravan right there let's do that and let's open this up unforbid and let's get a door a wooden door right here and let's get it forbidden all the heat can now leave and go outside like it's supposed to okay so feck radar when you're done with that let's have you build this door get that one built and be done with it all right so waiting on miss p caravan spot's going to be there this one did not disappear so i got to deconstruct yet okay so Miss P is racing through her meal, just nom 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 nom, and we are go. Go for a caravan. All right. Ah, remind myself again. Sea stars, Miss P, Alicia. Rabbit. Klaus. Can mine. All right, Klaus. Handy. Diamond. Let's stop at Diamond. What do I have to write with here? My notebook is missing. So I'll grab some random paper here and Sea Stars, Miss P, Alicia, and Shantigo. And then we've got Rabbit. We've got Klaus. And we've got Handy and diamond those are all the the obvious possibilities for mining and there's some good shots in there too and we've made sure that all of them are armed properly all right daniel is in there too maybe he's in round number two and we'll kind of duplicate we'll kind of grab some of this group and, and either one or two of the main miners next time we'll see about that okay so with that back to world back to caravan and rolling through handy yes oath knight oh oath knight was in there too yeah so i mean thomas Lob was not right he was not okay so oath knight will go in as our doctor this time klaus you've got skill and you've got shooting you could also help defend us Klaus is the question mark. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we don't really need nine. Klaus, I'll take you out. Maybe next trip. So let's run through this way. Miss P is a yes. 
Alicia's a yes. Uh, Diamond was a yes for her shooting ability. Can I go this route? I can. Diamond character shooting 11. Yes. Careful shooter too. All right. Diamond, you're in this one. Um, We've got... Actually, you know what? I take that back. I'm going to save Diamond for next trip. I think so. Because I think we're... We're one too many again. You're at the bottom of the mining skills. I'm going to save Diamond for next trip. Going through Radar, Velis, Eric, uh, Sea Stars for mining. Sangria, Billy, Gnarly, uh, Kaya, no, Michael, no. So we've got Rabbit, yes. We've got Shantigo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we stop there. Okay, no animals except for Muffalo. And then I'm thinking, I guess all these qualify? Boy, I don't know which ones were the full grown ones. This is your weights, what well, you can handle. All right, that's the answer right there. You three are going. Components don't weigh much, but we may find some steel or something else to work on at the same time, and that does weigh. And if we have capacity, we may even bring some wood back with us. We'll see. So we got those guys. Do we bring any alpacas? We have lots of food available as far as hay. Half the carry capacity. Who else do we have? Seven for a an alpaca up here, baby one. And we can all carry our own stuff up here. Hmm. These guys especially. All right, let's just see where we go. We've got 465 capacity right now. So with all of that, we need to get into supplies, items. There we go. So of the hay, what do we bring? What do we have here? Quantities, you are value, number of days until this rots. So the most damaged stuff, I would say let's get rid of it. We'll take that with us and Hmm. So we're looking at three animals. We're looking at maybe four days. A day there, a couple days while there, and a day back. Let's throw in an extra day just in case there is a battle and that delays us. So five days. Three animals, five days. What does that translate to food-wise? And is it necessary? Will they eat what's on the map? I understand in the wintertime they probably wouldn't because everything would have been frozen out. But it's possible, it seems like the last trip, they didn't eat any of the hay. So I'm hesitant that we didn't increase much at all. Take that back out. That's only three for 200. So it's not going to hurt us to do it. Okay, so in that case, let's bring of this 5,700. Oops, there, 79. Let's bring another 800. And with that, that's 1,000. That should be more than we need. Kibble. What makes up a day's kibble? Or, or not kibble, uh, pemmican. I wish there was something that said the average person eats such and such a day. That would be so nice to know. But deterioration rate a day. That's all I got. Hmm. Okay. So it's, it's all just a guess for me. So let's say 30 per meal. Let's say two meals a day. 60 times 7 is 42. 420 times 5, 2,000. So we're bringing all the pemmican. And I guess that will be our test. Five days, seven people, how much comes back? Let's bring some... Good for 3.5 days, there's eight of them. They'll probably eat these before they'll eat the others. Let's bring these eight. Okay, so those eight are coming. We still have lots and lots of room. So moving on down the list, there's nothing else here. We don't need kibble. We're not bringing any dogs. Those who are coming do not have any animals assigned to them. Right. Okay. So that's not a thing. So moving through the rest of the foods, there's nothing. More eggs. Chem fuels not needed. Don't need any of the cloths, any of the leathers. Could use some medicines. Um, let's go ahead and bring, oh, 20 herbals in case we can all come down with a flu while we're out there. Otherwise, let's bring, realistically, quantity of medicine. What would that be? Seven of us, let's say five of us get injured pretty badly. I don't think I've ever seen more than four or five be used at any one time to bring somebody back. Let's bring 
25 medicine. Okay, so that is that. Still plenty of space. What else do we need? Going through, there's no supplies I can think of that we would need. We'll have our own weapons. We've got the possibility of trading. There is that. There was this one marble sculpture that was a small, so only worth only worth 100 beauty. Going from 131 to 5 pounds. Okay, or 5 somethings. 5 kilograms, whatever that quantity. Oh, kilograms right there. Okay, so there is that. And I could bring the normal, or actually the pores. I could bring the pores with us just in case we end up trading them. Pores and shoddies. All right, that's those. That one. Moving across. Oh, there's two pores there. Um, right there. Okay. And goods. We'll leave all those. We need to read some of these too. Maybe next time we'll we'll start with that. Other things to bring. So we're at 175-ish. Bed rolls. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a problem. And we have a double. There's seven. Okay, there's seven of us. That can work. Somebody gets a little extra space. Yeah, that will work. You, that was a marble bed. No. We could trade a marble bed, but I don't want to carry a marble bed. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We did have two doubles. What's the rumbling noise that just started? You hearing that in the background? Sounds like there's fire somewhere. Not a good noise. Um, so that's seven beds. I thought that we did have an extra one of these. But I'm not seeing it obvious. Okay, chair, excellent. Thinking of things to sell, unfinished items, lots of stones to sell. We're not going to. Animals to s Oh, corpses. Okay, this is our freezer. Okay. Um, weapons to sell. I don't think I want to bother going that route. Uh, clothing, no. Um, we'll wait for a trader to hit us. Gold and silver. Okay, there is that to think about. Do we want the ability to buy? And I would think that'd be pretty smart. What does that mean for us? Seven grams. Oh, okay, I'm thinking kilograms. Okay, so if I were to put in 1,000, what would that do to us? That's a good-sized chunk of weight. But still, it's fine. Do we toss in the two alpacas as backup? We may not use them. Hopefully they'll eat grass on the way and not eat our grass. But that would give us the ability to bring back a much bigger haul, should it be found, or should we find lots of things to buy? Hmm. I think so. So going through here, what have I missed? We've got medicine. We've got a place to sleep. We've got... Um, Wood to build a building. Do we go that route? I would think we could chop some trees down pretty fast. I think so. So any other supplies like wood and steel? I don't see a need for it. Block? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe that's a no. I don't see the need to bring any more food. So they do have a longer shelf life. Uh, you know, ingredient foods. No, I think that's a no. So back to peoples and let's put in a couple of the 35s. So that would be, sure, that could be Clyde and that could be a pack of number one. Muffalo number eight can haul more. There is that. Eh, we'll, we'll go this route. Okay, so that is the items. That is the the people and animals. Config. Let's... Boy, where did I say we were going? I didn't say we were going. I didn't, and I can't look at the map. Can I scroll sideways? I cannot. Can I touch? I can't move it. So, let's say we're heading due east. So, we want to head out of... There is no due east. We have a northeast and a southeast. Let's go out of the southeast, that bottom corner down there, to go east. I see, because we're on a hex, so it, it actually is kind of diagonal out of here. The only true is north and south, and then we're northeast, southwest, what have you. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go out the southeast, and we're right here, and we're going to drop down the river to the one to the side of us. I think due south of us is the only one that's not available. I think all the rest of them were. 
just from memory. All right, what am I forgetting? I don't know, but I'm going to leave it at this. And if you guys have something that is obvious that I'm forgetting that I'm not thinking of, is a thousand hay enough for um, one, two, three, four, five animals for five days? Is a, and will they eat the grass on the way? And eight meals just because they'll last the longest we'll munch on those uh there's that's one meal per and an extra but most mostly we're going to deal with pemmican and or if we have to berries if there any of them are growing this time of year otherwise we got medicine 20 and 25 and we've got some random artwork to sell and we've got all of our cloth beds that's seven of them we need to make a few more cloth bed rolls and was that it scrolling through carefully that's and a thousand silver so if there's something else that that you need me to desperately go back and redo this to add to it let me know otherwise i think that's a trip i'm going to say accept and go back to our our colony here colonists will now take the assigned items and leave the area as soon as possible so before I hit unpause I'm just going to save it right there and that's a wrap for this episode and you let me know if there's something that I've missed otherwise next episode we'll start loading this up and we'll get going so some noble rambler thanks for watching guys and and I'll catch you later bye bye